Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, each day brings a new story to us, something that we have to consider and think about and be concerned with. So right now you have U.S. port workers uh, who are striking. They said that this is the first shutdown in 50 years. Now a lot of people don't know what all of this means, right? But uh, you will begin to see the effects of this if this doesn't end soon. So what's going on is these workers are striking. They are tired of these greedy corporations. I saw one report earlier today where this guy said these companies are raking in billions of dollars and they celebrate their profit while not sharing it with the people on the ground who are actually making all of this happen. And so they're getting fed up and so they're out there striking. I wanna share with you uh, this particular report uh, that talks about uh, how people are being affected locally um, in the grocery stores. And one person actually said that kind of reminds them of, you know, what happened during the pan pan. You know what I'm saying? Over the past four years when things were being shut down because of it. Um, what they're talking about here is certain things, especially if you're a business that depends on the import of uh, things uh, in these shipping containers, oh, this just might affect you greatly. Uh, anything that is imported that goes into these grocery stores, uh, a lot of your local shops, and you know, a lot of uh, commerce depends on all of this. And this is all of a part of a system, right? Um, I have my thoughts on the system um, and what it's all attached to. But um, anyway, I want you to listen at this report because uh, people are, you know, feeling a little nervous. And, they're, you know, they have their little um, statements that they're putting out, uh, basically saying uh, you won't feel the effects of this for a few weeks. But uh, some people are actually, you know, responding right now. And there's a lot of panic buying going on in various regions around the country, right? A lot of panic buying. I mean, we all know what that was like. Uh, you're going to hear the reports of people going in, stocking it up on things, and it's not there. So anyway, take a look and a listen at this report, and I will be right back. We are closing in on almost a full 24 hours of the ILA strike and with the Port of Virginia closed, many local residents are already starting to think of impacts from that strike. Ten on your side's Markeisha Jackson spent some time at local stores where there seems to be some panic buying underway. Several stores we went to today were out of toilet paper and had limited amounts of water, but those aren't things these workers say you should be concerned about. Instead, it's products like electronics that could be impacted if a deal isn't reached soon. Lines of picketing workers and lines at the grocery store. Well, of course, it can bring up memories of the past that don't feel so good. This is the first ILA strike since 1977 and with several major ports along the East Coast shut down, it has some residents in a panic at the grocery store. Busy. <laughs> it's busy. I didn't expect that everything was sold out. Disinfectant sprays and almost like a little COVID. This is inside of a local BJ's wholesale club. Up the street, customers rush inside of a nearby Sam's Club. But the effects of this strike won't be felt in the household aisle. It goes deeper than that. My local business, I feel it could affect that. She has an Etsy shop and says lots of her inventory is imported from overseas. Others share similar sentiments. We are looking for, to buy a car. And now I'm wondering, are the prices going to be higher? Now that the inventory is going to be low, do we wait it out? These ILA striking workers say they'll be waiting for wages to be raised and automation to be curbed. We have to stand up for what we feel is right and try to adjust and adapt to change in the world. I applaud them because sometimes you do have to strike just to get people's attention. We were given this statement by an ILA member stating that they will continue to fight until its members get the contract they deserve. To read it in full, head over to wavy.com. In Portsmouth, Markeisha Jackson, 10 on your side. 
Okay, so right now I feel like there is a number of things that can happen in this present economy. Uh, we are looking at so many things that we feel and we hear the drums of WAR that's going on. You have these strikes uh, because workers are tired of these greedy corporations. I mean, these people are so greedy. I feel like greedy isn't even a strong enough word to describe these, you know. Whew. These people work hard, but these corporations continue to, to rake in all of this money and not want to give the workers anything. The guy on the screen there, he said, uh, these people give themselves billion dollar bonuses and they're not giving anything to the workers as if the cost of living isn't raising for other people. This is why I feel like when the scripture says the merchants of the earth mourned when Bob Babylon fell, because this present system that they have, this is why I, I'm telling y'all Babylon is not just a people, but a system as well. But when it all comes crumbling down, when it all comes falling down, the merchants of the earth are going to mourn. Even the people are going to mourn because everyone is so used to how this thing operates, but the Most High is getting tired of it. He is getting fed up with the wickedness on this planet. We hear the drums of WAR. People are getting tired. They're, they're striking. Folk are homeless. You can't afford rent. I'm telling y'all, listen, I just so happened to see a rental in an area where you can normally rent a whole house for $500, $600. Now, they actually want $600 for just one room. And guess what? The house is run down. In other areas, room rentals, are as high as a thousand to sixteen hundred. I think the highest one I saw personally was twenty one fifty for a room rental. That wasn't even the whole house. So this is a person who has to share nine times out of ten with someone they don't even know, right? And so this is ridiculous. They are really trying to crash the economy. And I hope everybody's paying attention because all of this was prophesied. I like to bring it back to the fact that biblical prophecy is unfolding so fast we can't even keep up with it, but we have to. We need to pay attention to these things. Do not ignore what is happening, what is going on. Because this is the Most High's doing. He's letting their wickedness catch up to them. That's exactly what we see happening. So again, don't start panic buying, but be on the safe side, family. Get what you need while you can, okay? Um, we don't know how long this thing is gonna stretch out. All we know is every little thing that pops up, we need to, we need to see where it aligns with biblical prophecy. And I can see something like this if it goes on uh, too long. I can see something like this definitely affecting every household in some form or another. Right? And when people start panicking, they start doing all other kinds of things too. Like uh, robbing other folk, taking something that somebody else has. So as the saying goes, desperate times calls for def desperate measures. So we want to make sure that in all that we do, we are paying attention. We are doing what we have to do to protect ourselves. We are handling our business. And by all means, whatever you need, go ahead and get it. Um, we, we're even looking at the fact that the dollar is on its way out. They're trying to crash the dollar or devalue it so bad to where a loaf of bread might cost you $20 or more. And we are getting towards in that direction fast, y'all. Don't take things for granted. Handle your business. Stock up. Make plans. Do what you have to do. Anyway, I want you to share your thoughts on this in the comment section below. As always, keep it tight and keep it right. But until the next live or the next video, definitely stay prayed up, family. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share it like this video. And with that, we're out.
Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.